we will feed her. this album do you know what time it is can i can i please just use your bathroom are you are you okay you look, look sick I, I i i need to use the bathroom can i use the bathroom no please <laughs> Did you hear that? What are you talking about? She's following me. Are you okay? Well, if you're not gonna talk to me, just don't come back. I don't wanna see you again. I just... Test. I did pretty all right. How about you? Less than. History just doesn't click with me. I could seriously use a study buddy if you're interested. Mm. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. You can come over to my new place, which I know you haven't been to yet, and I could make you a smoothie and you could help me get my grades up. Yeah, yeah, that sure. Oh, perfect, thank you. I'll text you with the address later. Okay, bye. bye. Surprisingly edible, right? Oh, hey, how's that? Are you writing that one thing? What was it? I don't know. You know, sometimes I just hate how much I love to write. 
Like, I've been trying to write this book for two years now, but I just keep getting distracted and writing stupid things that don't even matter. Like what? I don't know. I guess I'm just looking for the right inspiration. Whatever that is. Look, all you need to know is that the Transcontinental Railroad was built between 1863 and 1869. And that connected the San Francisco Bay Area with... See, that's the problem right there. I don't remember dates and names very yeah. well, so... Okay, well, should we come up with a mnemonic device to help you out? Probably. Where's <laughs> <laughs> my roommate? Jesus, it is about freaking time. The door was unlocked, dumbass. Uh, I resent that, okay? Great. Oh, hey, you. It's Sarah. Yeah, from uh, biology class. What's going on? Okay, go away. We're studying. Oh, yeah. Excuse the hell out of me for trying to make small talk. pick up your shit? I yeah, Mom. Great. Okay, transsexual railroad. 1869. I didn't even know that you and Josh were roommates. Oh, yeah, I tried to forget about it. Oh. How long have you known each other? Oh, since middle school, I think. Um, we kind of grew up together. Our parents are neighbors. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. How long have you lived together? Wait a minute. Wait, seriously? I didn't say anything. No, this would be perfect. You would totally go for your type. <laughs> Forget it. It's... Or what do you mean, your type? Um, you know, like, cute, nerdy girl, like, mm. likes to write and wears glasses. Or... But honestly, though, he's a really good guy, and um, once you get to know him, he's pretty great. Once you get past his, um, like, rock and roll shit stick thing, I feel like. So he's single. No, he's not. Um, he has a girlfriend, but she's a bitch, so I think that you'd be a lot better for him. No, no I'm not the kind of girl to swoop in like some vulture and snatch up boys from their girlfriend. So... Walter is having a little shindig over at this creepy ass old house that his uncle bought. Mm -hmm. The bud will be blown and the drink will be flowing. Did you make that up yourself? Yeah, I did. Should you get Thank more. you for That's that. Good. Yeah, so are we going to do this or not? Hell yeah. Sweet. Oh, I think I'm just going to stay in tonight. Oh, well, I'm going to go and take a shower. So. You're just going to stay in? It's last minute. Come on, Sarah. How do you expect to be a writer if you don't have any personal experience? No, I'm serious. Like, two minutes ago, you were talking about how you need some inspiration. This could be it. You never know. You might, you might make some new friends. Mm. And if you don't have any fun, I will personally escort you home. Nice of you to show up. What did I do this time? What did you do? Do you see how your daughter talks to me? Where do you think you're going? To my room. We're your parents. We deserve to know where you've been. You know, we put food on your table and a roof over your head. You live here, you live under our rule. Why are you even listening to me? Get your hand off of me. Okay, you know what? I thought that once I went to college, maybe things would change around here. And you just sit there and you let her go at me every goddamn day. Do you want to know something? Mom, I'm going to go hang out with my fucking friends, okay? Something you wouldn't know anything about.
this necessary? No. Then why are we doing it? Because this is what girls do to get ready for parties. See? That wasn't so bad. I am really not the type for this sort of thing. Everybody's the type for this sort of thing. Even guys need a little makeover every once in a while. Their skin's always so dry. I don't know. Makeovers and makeups just not my thing. I think I look fine without it. No, definitely. You're beautiful, but this is just gonna make some of your best features pop. I'm glad you could make it. Uh... Sarah, yeah. Should be interesting. Yeah, well, at least you two look nice. How's the band going? Uh, it's okay, I guess. Our drummer keeps flaking out on rehearsal. And it's a little shaky right now, but you know how it is. But I had to bring my acoustics so I could play some tunes. Sounds good. Sarah, what do you do? Uh, work at a bookstore on campus. Not your job. I mean, what do you really do? Oh, uh, I'm a writer. What, like stories? Yeah, stories mostly. That's cool. I, uh, I like to think I write stories myself through my music. So how far are we? Well, not too far. What exactly is this place? I'm not really 100% sure. I guess Walter's uncle bought this band in the house. He's trying to have a party there before they tear it down or something. Makes sense to me. Wait, who's this Walter guy? He's a friend of ours. Oh, you know him. He's the ginger guy with the skinny little ass. In love with his car. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely recognize him now. Thanks, Kelsey. <laughs> so what part of town are we in? Somewhere on south side. It's a dicky little place. It's barely even just part of town at all. Yeah, it's kind of shitty. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's got like this small town Too bad. You big guy. All right. It's always a pleasure. You cut off all your hair, man. Yeah. It's uh, it's time for a change. Well, smart man. I mean, I know you're not, but you look like it. You know, who's this? This is Sarah. She is one of Kelsey's friends. Ah. And where's that troublemaker? Walter! Whoa! Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> How are you doing, sweetheart? I'm good. Good, good. Have you met my friend Sarah? I have. Josh was just introducing us and doing a terrible job as usual. Hey. <laughs> so you guys ready to check it out? Let's do it. I love this one. coming tonight. Well, only a couple of people actually got back to me besides you guys. Didn't feel like calling it off since we weren't gonna have the house much longer. Uh, so it's just us then? How was this a party? Well, Jody and Paul stopped by earlier, drank four of my beers, and then went to get something to eat. And Bobby said he'd stop by later with his group, but you know those guys, so. They're not really all that popular this week, are we? 
Nobody wants to party with us. Well, speak for yourself, man. I mean, we've got the J, and we've got the tunes, and we've got the brews, so... Sounds like a party to me. <laughs> um... I've only actually done this once before and didn't really do anything. It's cool. Nobody feels anything their first time. It's easy. Just relax and take in a deep breath. Feeling it this time? Yeah, I think so. I've always heard if you're not coughing, you're not feeling it. Wow, who knew you were such a philosopher? Ew. I totally am. <sighs> uh, who knows that we're here? Uh, my uncle. He's cool with it. Oh. Does your uncle drive like a beat down truck? No, he drives a Mercedes. Like a really nice S class with a heated seats and GPS. Forward looking infrared. It's fast as hell, man. It's like a five and a half liter turbocharged V12 with a six speed automatic. It's <laughs> loaded to drive a truck. <coughs> I'm just trying to be that good nephew. There's a lot to be said about a man with no kids and more money than he can spend before he dies. Wow, piece of shit. No, it's not like that. He's my uncle, I love him, but, I mean, he's a racist. And he hates women, so, I mean, fuck him, right? You know what that reminds me of? You should take shots. Now that's an idea. <laughs> so tell me about this truck. Oh, uh, it's nothing. I think that the weed is just getting to me feeling paranoid or something. Here, take this. It'll help loosen you. Um, not really sure what to get drunk tonight. Who said anything about getting drunk? It's one shot. Which we cheers to? This dope-ass house. To the dope house. To the dope house. Outside, it's probably like the turn of the century or something. Sarah, really? We are at a party, and all you can talk about is the architecture of the house. Hey, leave her alone, man. This place is pretty legit. We should go check it out. May as well. Nobody else is here, right? Guys, really? Hey, we might find like a big bag of money or something. Or a bag full of pot. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> We should open it. Yeah. No. No, 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 no. There could be a bum down there that has been squatting for God knows how long, mm. and he heard us partying, and I am not about to do a pissed off hobo. I'm just saying. Oh, God. Not doing Does anybody have a pocket knife? Ooh. Yeah. Hey, what? I was a boy scout. All right. For like six months.
guys see anything down there? It's, uh, it's not that impressive. Really? Is it? Come see. What the fuck was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from inside the house. I think it came from the front room. Let's go. private property start stealing shit we think this is a third world country it's goddamn america boy we got laws around here you guys better leave before i get my gun and i make it first of all sir we're not teenagers and second of all this property belongs to jeffrey daniels i'm his nephew walter walter daniels yeah i don't know the walter daniels look i don't mean to be rude man but at this point you're the one that's trespassing now i'm gonna have to ask you to leave or i'm gonna be forced to call the police all right and tell them what. Explain to them what the hell you guys are doing in here. I mean, come on, give me a break. Now, listen here. I'll cut you guys a deal. You don't call the cops, all right? I'll let you continue your little party. You share some of those goodies with me. Well, let me get this straight. You're gonna come in here and ask to party with us after you barge in uninvited, unannounced, and then threaten to kick us out with your gun. Is that about right? All right, uh, some things were said. Yeah. But it's cool now. Come on, guys, I'm, I'm just like you. I like the simple pleasures of life. I like a good beer. I like some good old fashioned American reefer. And I just share it with me, you know? It's good. Come on, guys. Fuck this guy. I agree, fuck you, guy. Come say that to my face, you little bitch. I just did. Hey, you know what? You know what? How about we all just head out, all right? I'm, seriously, you, you would rather leave than, than party with Dwayne? Yes. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. Suit your fucking selves in. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call the cops my damn self. You know, I'm gonna tell them that you're over here selling dope and you're making porno movies. Oh, oh that's a good one. You guys need to leave, I mean now. Asshole. Are you about to let this guy kick us out of here? Yeah, man, the party's over. Yeah. Have a good night, D-Wayne. Fuck you and your red shoes.
don't see why we couldn't just stay here to party. Why didn't we go to your house? Your place is fucking huge. I just thought it would be exciting. You can't say it wasn't interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting is an understatement, my friend. Yeah. I wonder what was in that basement. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm actually not feeling that good. I think I'm gonna turn in. Sorry. It's all right. We'll uh, we got next time for it. You want me to walk you out? I saw a little girl standing behind Walter, but then when he went to flash his light on her, she was gone. And I know what it sounds like, but... A little girl in the basement of a house that's been locked from the outside? She okay? Yeah, she'll be fine. She's got a little spooked as all. Well. Where are you going? Hey! Hey! Um, yeah, um, uh, it's, I'm not still sort of young, and it is a weekend, so, I don't know, I'll just, I know this really cool place, it's just a few blocks away, um, I was thinking we could go and you know, check it out if you want to. Um, okay, yeah, why not? Cool, well, I'll drive. Okay. I think it's probably time that I head home. You good to drive, buddy? No. <laughs> that I've been worse. It's like Josh in for me later. Will do. Appreciate it. It's kind of a mess in here. We haven't really been in here in a while. Yeah. Feels good though. Kind of makes me feel creative again. Mm. You should play me something. Ooh. Oh, come on. I've never heard you play before. Uh, that's no surprise. Kelsey hates our band. <laughs>
is gonna scratch my car. Hello? Yeah. What do you mean? Was there. Are you kidding? Walter was one of the happiest people I've ever met. He had financial security. Got that new car? It's not that thing. You guys don't think it had anything to do with that house, do you? What are you talking about? You gotta admit, there was something off about that place. Okay, pentagram that we found in the basement. And last night I had this crazy dream. We were all oh my god, Sarah. This is not one of your storybooks, okay? This is real life. Our friend killed himself. Kelsey! Kelsey, I didn't mean to upset you. Kelsey! Great. She'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's my fault. You probably shouldn't have jumped to cult theory so soon. You don't really think it has anything to do with that house, do you? I don't know, maybe. It's just this feeling that I get. You know, maybe I'm crazy, but I think that we should go back. Well, I did leave my knife there. There is half a joint in the ashtray. We probably need to go back and clean that up before Walter's uncle gets there. I mean, he doesn't blame anything on our party last night. And that redneck D-Wayne, he'll find any excuse to start shit. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go. What the hell is he doing here? I don't know. So we find out. Do you smell that? It's really worse than last time. That's that is definitely not the same smell as last time. Did something throw up in here last night? Uh not that I'm aware of. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, fuck, I have been hell. Oh, my God, I think he shot himself. He's 
Something is going on. I'm not getting blamed for that. We need to get out of here. So, what's next? Library, huh? Mm -hmm. You do know there's this cool thing called the internet? I don't know if you've heard of it. Yeah. We're at the library because some of the information I need might not be on the internet. Also, I can always get more work done here rather than at some little coffee shop. And what exactly are we looking for? Not really sure. I did have a pretty weird dream last night, though. It was about the house. There was this little girl there, and uh, someone called her Heian. I think she was a child bride or something. Wait a second. You're basing your research on a nightmare that you had? Yeah, but... Okay, I am... Almost positive that I saw that little girl in the basement, standing behind Walter. She was just standing there. And then he goes to turn his light on her, but she disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah. Like, like a ghost disappeared? Maybe. I'm not buying into it. Enough crazy shit has happened to us since we left that house to warrant some questions, don't you think? Yeah, no shit. If you told me a week ago that Walter was going to commit suicide and that I was going to find a dead redneck in the floor of an abandoned house, I would have said that you are having a bad acid trip, my friend. What are you looking at? So this says that the second owner of the house, Charlotte Morgan, was arrested multiple times between 1900 and 1904 for different counts of prostitution and pandering. In December, 1908, she sold the house and disappeared. Okay. What good does that do us now, though? It doesn't, but it's the only lead that we have. So you're saying this child that you may or may not have seen might or might not be the ghost of a Chinese child prostitute? And she made Walter kill himself. I can't believe this. No, I can't believe you. No, 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 you listen to me. Walter was one of my best friends in the entire world and I cannot believe that you are doing this to me right now.
shit! Whoa. Sorry about your friends. If you want to talk about anything, I just want you to know I'm here for you. It's not even anything you could understand. Maybe not. I think something is killing us. When I went out the other night, we went to this old abandoned house. We were gonna throw a little party away from everyone else. But I think that a ghost, spirit or something has been following us ever since, making us kill ourselves. I don't even care what you think. I just wanted to tell somebody about it. It's okay. It's okay. You just promise you won't tell mom, okay? Maybe if there's something occult in the works, we could find some kind of ritual or something. Fuck it. If we're gonna die, I say let's do it together. What are you talking about? This has been by far the shittiest week of my life. Two of my best friends are dead, and now we're being hunted by a fucking ghost child. I'm just saying, I don't think that there is a way out of this. Oh, okay, so you wanna just give up and accept death? I mean, what do you want me to do? We're running out of options here. I mean, we're dying. What? Okay, you know, I really didn't think that you were the kind of guy that would give up so easily. Well, I don't think you understand the situation. We are going to die, Sarah. There's no way out of this. Says who? Sarah, come on. You know, I don't give a shit whether or not you want to quit. But I'm not going to stop looking until I'm dead, like Kelsey and Walter, or until I can end this thing. And you can either help me, or you can die. So we'll just talk to her. It will be fine. We should have called you sooner. I'm here to help. Thank you. Well, of course she is now. Peace, Sarah. I want you to come meet Dr. Schiff. Pleased to meet you, Sarah. Please, sit down. Sit down. Let's have a little chat. What is this? Well, actually, it's about you, Sarah. Your parents have become worried enough that they ask for help. So you're a shrink. Sarah, your mom and dad tell me that you have had some friends commit suicide recently and that you're having some hallucinations. We're just worried that you've experienced some trauma from losing so many people in such a short period of time. Sorry, there is a, I can't do this. Sarah, Sarah please just her. stop. Hold on. Let her go. Let's leave her alone for now. She's gonna be okay, right? Fuck! Oh, God! Oh, God.
Molly, go down to the basement and get us a couple more bottles of wine. Good morning. Is Sarah in? What does this have to do with? This man here, his name is Josh Sloan. A friend of his found his body recently in a band rehearsal space. His roommate Kelsey Cox was also found recently deceased. Sarah was a friend of both of theirs, and my understanding is she may have been the last person to see him alive. I would like to ask her a few questions. Sure, she's upstairs. I'll go get her. Is she a suspect? The owner of the practice space said he heard Sarah and Josh have an argument the night before. We really can't assume anything. Come on in. Thank
She must be at the library. She goes early when it's not too busy. She does a lot of research there. She's trying to be a writer. Dispatch. I'm gonna need a bolo. Person of interest, Sarah Jensen. Brunette, Caucasian, female. Five foot nine. Five foot nine, about 115 pounds. 24 years of age. You will need to contact me if she calls or if she comes by. Thank you. That asshole left his folder.
dispatch, I want to meet back up at my location. I've got a body. can see him. What the fuck is going on? What's going on is we're going to have a little chat about your dead friends, Kelsey Cox and Josh Sloan. Drop it, Max. Josh Sloan isn't dead. Drop it. Fuck. Turn around. Get him up. Yeah, Josh is dead. What the fuck is that? What is that? Fuck this. Don't you fucking move. Dispatch, this is Parker. Where's that backup? Please just let me do this. You don't know what Shut up! Dispatch, this is Parker. Do you copy? You don't know what the fuck you're doing, dude. You don't know what you're doing.
Hello, Sarah. How did you sleep? Dr. Robinson tells me that he has changed your medication to something a little stronger to help you with your nightmares. I know this is not ideal, but you're going to have to work through this. These delusions that you're having about your friends and this spirit child, when do they begin? I'm just trying to help you. Things will get better, I promise.